Hello YouTube and Facebook followers. This is Half Man, Half Cichlid. Did you ever want to understand what an algae scrubber is? Why they're important in an aquarium? Do you also want to learn how to put one together to make one yourself? Follow me as I answer these questions on algae scrubbers. So what is an algae scrubber? It's a surface where you intentionally grow algae and a lot of it in your aquarium, your filter or sump, or some combination of those areas. What does the algae do? Its growth is fueled by ammonia, nitrates, and nitrates. It is basically a highly efficient water purifier, much like algae is in our lakes and oceans. It's all part of an aquarium strategy that I use to utilize biology to make my aquarium water pure and the environment for my fish as pristine as possible. The benefits have quite an impact on the hobbyists who, who have tried it. You're going to witness today my second install, but back to the benefits. You will grow algae in your algae scrubber rather than your aquarium. This will drastically reduce the maintenance task of cleaning algae in your main tank. The algae scrubber is a sponge, so to speak, a natural sponge that consumes harmful byproducts of the nitrogen cycle, ammonia and nitrite. It takes over from the nitrifying bacteria and eats up and eliminates nitrates, reducing the frequency of water changes. And lastly, with the improved water quality, you can count on a more healthy system. Now let's talk about the algae scrubber install. What you are looking at here is a 65 gallon sump that supports my 340 gallon African cichlid grow out tank. The water flows about 3,000 gallons per hour and the media can go many months without any maintenance. All the media can be rinsed with water and there is nothing to discard. The water enters the K1 coldness chamber, then circulates through the heater chamber and then cascades over into a mechanical filter tray holding spun polyester media. This is essentially my media chamber. The filter tray is where we're going to install the algae scrubber on, on top of the media. From here, the water falls through the filter tray, uh, through two bio balls, pot scrubby, and lastly flows through three layers of pour red foam to polish the water before being returned to the aquarium. One of the great things about sums is you can adapt them to different technologies to reduce maintenance. And as you will see with the algae scrubber, the sum can be adapted to greatly improve your water quality with an algae scrubber. Imagine being able to do this with a canister filter. Okay, let's get on with the uh, install, the build first before the install. This is plastic uh, egg crate, and uh, I bought this at Home Depot, available at most hardware stores. The large sheet was $12.49, $12.49. With that sheet, I can probably make 10 or 15 uh, uh, algae scrubbers. So this is gonna serve as sort of the foundation for the next material that will be the base upon which the algae grows. Here's the mesh. It's a uh, black plastic mesh that I uh, have from other projects. I've seen people use mesh from uh, the hardware store that's used to keep garbage out of your, your home's gutters. I've seen plastic mesh from craft stores that are used for knitting. Uh, there's uh, a lot of possibilities. This is a particular size uh, opening in the sheet, openings in the sheet that I wanted to use. The uh, next component is of course uh, the LED lights, specially designed for growing plants. It's 11 by 11 inches. Uh, cost me $27 on Amazon. I'll put a link uh, down below in case you're interested in buying one of these. I put little cups on the corners. Uh, what these will do is raise the, the panel a 
an inch or so off of the acrylic and, and enable ba better heat, uh, the heat to dissipate from uh, the area and uh, not uh, melt the, the acrylic. Now here's the two panels that are going to be in the algae scrubber. These are the panels that the algae is going to grow on. Uh, there's the plastic mesh. It's been attached with plastic strip ties to the plastic egg crate. Uh, an important note, the uh, plastic, the black plastic mesh is actually two level, two layers thick. Uh, when, uh, and that's because when the, the mesh is cleaned and is typically scraped with like a credit card to remove algae periodically, there will be uh, more algae left uh, on the second screen to begin the process of uh, regrowing once you reinstall the panels into the, uh, the algae scrubber. Now we're ready for the install. The first step is to uh, place the two panels with the egg crate and the mesh screen into the uh, mechanical filter tray on top of the polyester. Uh, that uh, is my, again is my mechanical filter. There's a slight buoyancy to the panel, so I'm going to place a couple rocks on each of them so that they're uh, lying firmly down and against the uh, polyester. Uh, I will also position them so that there is a reasonable amount of space between the panels and the sides of the tray for water to flow even when so water continue to flow through this tray and through the sump even when the trays begin to be uh, covered with uh, algae. Okay, now we're ready to move to the next step which is to uh, put in place the base for the LED light which is actually a piece of 3 8 inch acrylic which we're mounting by laying it on top of the sump uh, and, and again this is where the LED lights are going to uh, be, uh, be held. Now I'm going to sneak the LED light into the compartment above the sump. Uh, you can't see it very well from this angle. We'll, uh, we'll fix that in, in a later shot. But uh, you know, it sits above the acrylic. Uh, you can see uh, the area in front of the sump again, the water flowing from the K1 through the uh, heater chamber over into the tray. Uh, then the light goes on, and uh, now we have an operating algae scrubber with, uh, uh, you know, hopefully within a in days, we'll be able to see the beginnings of uh, algae growing on the uh, plastic mesh. The final algae scrubber, the light, the lens, the tray with the plates, where the algae is going to grow. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's Half Man, Half Cichlid. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Thank you.